Uh, LV Game of the Week at Emirates Old Trafford ended as a draw, which means that the race for the second division title goes into the last week of the championship season. A win for Surrey on the last day against Lancashire would have been enough for them. And when Carl Brown was dismissed by Tom Curran in the morning second over, they had a chance. Lancashire had been set a target of 492 to win, one that was never really on, even more so when Alviro Peterson gave Rory Burns some work to do with an excellent catch in the slips off Matt Dunn, the South African, on his way for 13. Ashwell Prince's final ever innings in Manchester had brought him 11 runs when he too was out, Dunn the bowler again as the man who announced his retirement earlier this week was pocketed by Kumar Sangakkara in the slips. Prince was applauded back to the pavilion just as he had been when he came out to bat. With one game of his career to go, the 38-year-old has 18,500 first-class runs, 3,665 in the Test Arena, as well as nearly 9,000 more in white ball cricket. He will, of course, be missed around the world. His wicket left Lancashire on 71 for three, but the rest of the morning session saw Hasib Hamid and Stephen Croft put up the barriers. The 30 overs of the first session bringing the home team only 57 runs. Lancashire had set their stall out to bat all day, something they had also managed to do in their last match against Kent. By the time the break arrived, these two had taken the total to 79 for three, and after it, with boundaries like these few and far between, the overs ticked away. Hamid, an 18-year-old playing in just his third first-class match, showed a maturity beyond his years, and he completed his maiden half-century off his 149th delivery. He'd struck four fours from those and had shown that not every youngster these days believes in only these shorter formats of the sport and hitting the ball into next week. In that hard-working draw in Canterbury last week, it was Croft who saw off 209 balls for an undefeated 72, occupying the crease for more than four hours, and he was producing a similar type of back-to-the-wall innings here. Both he and Hamid batted as if their lives depended on it, Lancashire desperate to head to Essex next week, still with a chance of lifting the trophy they won a couple of summers ago. Hamid went 106 balls without finding the boundary, and then, from nowhere, he hit Sam Curran for two in the space of four deliveries to move into the 70s. He'd seen off 39 overs with Croft, whose dismissal just before tea gave the visitors renewed hope. Tom Curran and Ben Folks combining to remove the Lancashire captain for 40. So the final session of this match began with the home team on 163 for four. Those made off 70 overs and Surrey began it well as Dunn had Phil Mustard held by Sangakkara. The visitors trying to have one last surge towards the second division title. And when Jordan Clark on three nicked off to Tom Curran for his sixth wicket of the match and his 66th of an excellent championship season for the 20-year-old, Lancashire were left on 182 for five, with a minimum of 25 overs of this match remaining, and the second new ball was just about due. In the second over with it, Hamid's long, long vigil was brought to an end by Sam Curran, the batsman finding his brother at a well-placed leg slip to finally depart for a memorable 91, which used up 234 balls and occupied five and a half hours. It was a wonderful effort from one so young, this being a match where the youngsters have really stood out. Surrey now had a chance, but 12 minutes and 19 balls later, the players were off for the light and they didn't return, Lancashire ending on 195 for seven. You can't control the weather. Um, it was dark, it was the right decision. We don't have any problems with that. Um, it's obviously very disappointing because we felt if we'd have had that 12 overs, we had a real hot chance to, uh, to get the points. There is an argument that you could have had 12 overs more last night. Was, was 490 a bit hefty? No, um, it was um, paying them the, the due respect. Um, two best teams in the division, I believe. Um, I think that's showing in the points. And the way the cricket was played, it was very tough cricket over, over four days. Credit to them, the way they played today. Um, but um, no, we just wanted to make sure that they didn't have a chance and everything was loaded in our favour. Um, for the people out there that question it, so a bit, that's your decision. Um, I don't have a problem with what I did. I wouldn't change it again. Thankfully, we, we hung on to the draw and we... You know, we, sh we showed a lot of resolve today, but uh, throughout this game, and probably our last game as well, we've not played our best cricket, so we need to certainly raise our standards for next, next week.
So the game, as we know, was drawn and Surrey bagged 12 points to Lancashire's nine. And that means that there are now eight points separating the two teams as we head into the last week of the season. Surrey spending it at home to Northamptonshire, while Lancashire head to Essex.